Well, one of the ethical challenges I had to deal with once was negotiating a multi-billion pound sale purchase, which involved a company in the Far East. And we'd had a very difficult negotiation. Uh, my client was uh, very clear about their targets and their objectives, and the uh, party on the other side, the counterparty, was also very clear. And we had, uh, it seemed, quite a gap between us. Uh, and uh, partway through this negotiation, there was a, an exchange of emails. This was really when emails uh, first started, so people weren't quite as familiar with how dangerous emails are. And what happened was that the counterparty that I was negotiating with, so not my client, but the party on the other side, uh, in error, sent me a spreadsheet which had in it, and it was actually entitled Negotiating Position. So here I am with the spreadsheet, and I had to decide whether or not I was going to open it, because obviously had I opened it, I would have understood what his negotiating position, and then maybe I could have either done a better deal for my client, which would perhaps be an argument for looking at it, uh, but I'd have understood his position, and that was confidential information. So I parked it. I simply put it in a, uh, in a folder, did not look at it, and we uh, happily managed to conclude the negotiation I did actually look at it after the negotiation uh, was finished and we'd signed and sealed the, the contract and was very happy to discover that, uh, that as it were, both clients had got a, a, a good deal because I knew what my client's maximum position was and we hadn't gone to it. And the client on the other side actually had a target that we'd exceeded. So everybody got the right outcome by doing the right thing, which was not to look at that file. So if you're faced with an ethical challenge like that, the answer has got to be do what you think is the right thing. And ask yourself, if you were trying to explain to your mother afterwards that it was the right thing, Ask yourself whether she'd be convinced. That's usually a pretty good test.